antimicrobials. This is an umbrella term for chemicals that kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria. It includes antibiotics as well as antiseptics and cleansers. Now I want you to think about all of the places where antimicrobial usage is absolutely critical. Hospitals, clinics, food processing plants. We want to know that the places we go and the food we eat are safe. And if we do happen to get a bacterial infection, that we can be treated by effective antimicrobials. So what if one day these antimicrobials just stopped working? That is the reality of antimicrobial resistance, and it's happening faster than you think. Bacteria are evolving resistance mechanisms to multiple antimicrobials, where we start calling them superbugs. And they're evolving this resistance because of the selective pressure from us abusing these compounds absolutely everywhere. It's not just overprescription in clinics either. We've been taught to fear bacteria in our everyday lives. There are antimicrobials in our fabric softener, our mouthwash, our toothpaste, our hand soap, our makeup, just to name a few. But did you know that about 80% of the antimicrobial usage in Canada is in livestock? And not because these animals are sick, but because it makes them grow bigger, faster. Antimicrobial resistance doesn't just appear overnight. It happens gradually at first, and then grows exponentially. Before we know it, the problem will be past the point of no return. That is what is happening right now. If current trends continue, by the year 2050, antimicrobial resistant infections will be responsible for 10 million deaths globally every year. That's more than cancer and traffic accidents combined. This can mean an era where there is no such thing as routine dental work or minor surgery, and that any time you are at risk of infection, you could be at risk for your life. This would set back modern medicine more than 80 years. So what can be done? Well, first, we need better stewardship and regulations, so we only use these compounds where they're absolutely necessary. But we also need more research into understanding how these resistance mechanisms in bacteria work. That is where my research project comes in. My project focuses on the resistance mechanism of efflux pumps. See, bacteria have a cell wall to separate them from the harsh outside world and to control what comes in and out of the cell. Efflux pumps are structures in the cell wall that can recognize antimicrobials with lock and key type specificity and pump them out before they can have their effect. My project aims to examine the relationship between the composition of the cell wall and the folding of these efflux pump structures to better understand the mechanics of how they work, and then to use this information to find novel targets to make new antimicrobials more effective and to pump up the fight against antimicrobial resistant infections. Thank you.